we may be approaching a hidden sun and other people think it contributed to the extinction of the dinosaurs. NASA failed in their search for this enigmatic black star. However, there's still something dragging. Sedna, a far-off object, is veering off course as if it were under the influence of an invisible force. What if that force already exists within our solar system and is headed directly at us? Nemesis is not a sign of friendship. The word comes from ancient Greek and refers to the type of karma that you truly do not desire, the flavor of the end of the world, cosmic payback. Indeed, there were others who believed that a second sun might exist far beyond Pluto, gradually upending what we currently know. However, what if it's already returning and not just out there? It need not even approach. If it were real, it would simply stray close to the aught cloud, like it's attempting to instigate a bar brawl. The outer shell of frozen trash around our solar system prods it. Before you know it, comets are falling. Boom. Mass extinction. Approximately every 26 million years. Similar to clockwork. Apocalyptic clockwork gone bad. Where is this dark star, though? Nobody has located it, and many have looked, I assure you. It isn't only concealed by Saturn or whatever, it would be a red or brown dwarf if it exists. For a star who never had it together, that is science talk. Not hot enough to be dazzling. Not sufficiently dead to qualify as a black hole. They were just waiting, watching, and sort of floating. There are other names in the game as well. Let's meet Tiki. Doesn't it sound like a spa treatment? However, Tai is just another potential issue that could be hiding in the clouds. Not a star this time, but a gas giant. Enough to disrupt the orbits of comets. Same headache, different vibe. Some scientists believed it could help explain a strange pattern in which comets appear to be clustered rather than dispersed. The celebration must be being planned by someone out there. Correct. Sedna comes next. A trans-Neptunian item, not your neighbor's cat. An elegant term for a frozen freak in space. It has an insane orbit, far too extended. One explanation, another enigmatic planet, or a black sun pulling it around as if someone shoved it and shouted, go long. All of this is beginning to resemble a dark stalker in our solar system. But hold on, this isn't appealing to everyone. The concept is more science fiction than science fact, according to many scientists. Guess what happened when the original idea first surfaced in the 1980s? No firm sighting yet. No second selfie with the sun yet. Even the timing of the extinction is questioned by certain scholars. The entire 26 million year pattern may not even be a pattern. It might be illness, volcanoes, or the Earth simply going about its business. A cosmic villain is not necessary for every disaster. The numbers are unsettling, though. And why should our galaxy stars be any different when half of them have a companion? If it's there, it's simply waiting, not hurrying, but floating, silent and dark. The good news is that it won't be swinging by for millions of years if it's real. Unfortunately, that does not imply that we are safe. There are many more ways that space may spoil your day. Unpredictable rogue planets, gamma ray burst, and solar flares. It's similar to wearing a blindfold while traversing a minefield. And we could step on a lot of things, this being just one of them. We might be mistaken, though. It might not have existed. Perhaps it was merely an odd mathematical coincidence. Or perhaps it's still out there, slowly approaching us while remaining hidden. There's no need to panic. Simply keep your eyes up, and at least we'll know who's causing the trouble if we ever see another sunrise. This theory won't die quietly for a reason. People are drawn to patterns. Additionally, the math seems too tidy and clean if you align those extinction events. That regularity is unsettling, as if the cosmos is sounding an alarm once every few dozen million years, and something is erased when it rings. These aren't simply science nerd bedtime tales. Textbooks, think pieces, late night radio, conspiracy blogs, and dinner discussions have all included the theory. It's ambiguous enough to prevent complete dismissal and juicy enough to frighten folks. No one has lost their job because they believed in it. When it comes up, however, many people have rolled their eyes. Something about this potential second sun resides in between science and fiction. Comets, Sedner, and even Tiki aren't the only things that sustain the theory. Are we being watched? That is the big cosmic question. Is there something out there that orbits quietly and slowly, only revealing itself when it's time to stir things up? Even though others have had worse fantasies, 
This one endures because it doesn't include magic, time travel, or aliens. We haven't yet observed the nasty roommate. Keep in mind that this isn't about space horror if that seems dramatic. Space honesty is the issue. We are not owed stability by the universe. Earth floats in a cosmic shooting gallery like a soft, moist rock. We've made it thus far, but luck doesn't last forever. There won't be any speeches or pyrotechnics if it swings by. Only comets, dust, clouds, and stillness. It's just conjecture until then. Like a song you can't stop listening to, the thought of a second sun with malicious intent keeps returning. You ignore it and hum it. Then it sounds real when you hear it again. The astronomers will continue to observe, telescopes will continue to search, and perhaps one day a red, silent object will flicker into view. The countdown won't begin with noise when it does. Before someone says what everyone is thinking, there will likely be a lengthy, heavy pause followed by computations, numbers, and orbital charts. It has returned. Enjoy the tranquility until then. Savor the peaceful skies. But keep in mind that nothing remains silent indefinitely. NASA only had one position. Pay attention to the sky. There's something they shouldn't be looking at now. It's large. It shines. And it's on its way to us. It's not a spaceship then. It's worse. An aspirant second sun that is inaccessible to standard telescopes. It turns into the ideal stalker if it doesn't shine much and glides slowly, creating mayhem from the shadows while remaining hidden. The only actual breadcrumbs it leaves behind are gravitational forces, which allude to its existence without ever entering the light. What else is out there? just waiting to ruin things if one concealed sun can wreak such mayhem. NASA launched satellites to address the issue. The IRIS project used infrared to scan the skies in the 1980s in an attempt to detect a slight heat signature from this celestial phantom. Nothing. With improved equipment, later missions like WISE and 2MASS made another attempt. No trace yet. Nemesis has remained as quiet as a grave despite all the seeking. The ripples have continued despite that stillness. Astronomers were a little alarmed with the mere thought of Nemesis. We became aware that our planet was in a cosmic shooting gallery all of a sudden. Comets, asteroids, and other near-Earth objects have become the public's top nemesis. We eventually acknowledged that they might be a part of a reoccurring nightmare, not because they were novel. To monitor these space rocks, NASA started the Near-Ear Object Observations Program. They began creating enormous lists. On a crime board, thousands of items are listed and tracked like suspects. Some are innocuous, while others are a little too close to the orbit of the Earth. It was formerly believed that one asteroid, Apus, was headed for collision. Panic struck. When scientists discovered it would miss us, they were relieved. Seldom. We need more than crossed fingers if the next rock doesn't miss, so the near miss set off a wave of preparation. Introducing Deflection Tactics Humanity's first attempt was the Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART. In 2022, NASA sent a spacecraft that collided with the asteroid dimorphism. The target's orbit shifted, but it did not explode. That was sufficient. It demonstrated that, given enough time, we could move a rock the size of a football stadium. More harsh suggestions included using nuclear weapons to move the asteroid off course by detonating one near it. The issue is that it might break apart the asteroid and cause multiple minor impacts instead of just one large one. Nevertheless, it is being researched since you need to have every possible alternative when space strikes. The UN took matters seriously. To address dangers worldwide, organizations such as SMPAG and IAW are established. They function as an emergency response squad for the cosmos. They will be the ones raising the alarm and demanding action if something is going in this direction. Even if nausea is a ghost, it has changed the way that people on Earth perceive risk. We are no longer only keeping an eye out for comets. Searching for anything that shouldn't be there, we're gazing into deep space, unfathomable orbits, inexplicable patterns, and movements that don't make sense. Some scientists came up with a crazier notion instead of nemesis. They held the sun responsible. Our star is never still. It sways throughout the galaxy, occasionally moving into denser areas. On its own, the sun may dislodge comets from the aught cloud if it plunges through the thick center of the Milky Way. According to this theory, known as the Sheba Hypothesis, the sun may both create life and occasionally kill it. 
others gravitated toward Planet 9, a more recent interest. Beyond Neptune lies a planet much larger than Earth, not a star. Some objects are pulling on far-off space pebbles, causing strange bends in their courses. Perhaps Planet 9 is to blame. Although it takes place in the same haunted area, it is not a part of the Nemesis tale. One thing is certain, whether it's our own sun causing trouble, a hidden planet, or a renegade star, Earth is not as secure as we believed. Space is not void. It remembers and it's busy. The complete configuration of the furthest reaches of our solar system is still being mapped by astronomers. They are searching for the invisible hand that is controlling these frozen missiles. Every time something wobbles in the incorrect direction and is captured by a telescope, curiosity peaks. However, fear isn't necessarily negative. People are awakened by it. New missions are funded by governments. More tools are provided to scientists. Instead of scrolling through gloom, children begin to dream of space. Every theory, even the dubious ones, contributes to the advancement of knowledge about our position in the galaxy. We get closer to peace of mind with each asteroid we discover, an orbit we discuss, but the uncertainty remains no matter how much we learn. Despite the fact that nausea is not real, the threat it poses is real and constant. Although it sounds dramatic, a second sun has nothing to do with light. It's about hiding in the cold, confusion, upheaval, and gravity. It doesn't have to shine if there is something out there, something big and concealed. All it has to do is pull the appropriate rope at the incorrect moment. There are no countdowns or alarms, just a quiet guest reminding Earth that we don't always have the cards in the big game of space. Time is running out if that visitor is getting closer. The gap between planets is one of the largest blind spots. There are roving pieces of ice and rock in that dark ocean. Some are not harmful, but the majority are. New artifacts that have been slipping beneath the radar for decades are found every year. The frightening thing is that some of them get very close to Earth. Although we've made progress, our tracking systems are still far from ideal. Telescopes on Earth are limited to viewing the night sky. That means sunlight doesn't reach half of the skies. It is possible to entirely miss objects coming from the sun's direction. It's not a maybe. It has already taken place. They looked everywhere and couldn't find anything until something unexpectedly appeared. A meteor burst above Chelyabinsk, Russia in 2013. The blind side is where it originated. The sky is bright. There was only a flash, an explosion, and thousands of broken windows. No warning, no notifications. The width of that rock was only 20 meters. What if there had been 200? Astronomers are requesting new instruments to avoid being caught off guard. What ground scopes miss is captured by space-based telescopes like NEOM, the Near Earth Object Surveillance Project. Even when the sun is in the way, they will continue to observe the entire sky. Some people are advocating for even more radical concepts, moon-based telescopes, observatories affixed to asteroids, and even early warning buoys in outer space. It sounds pricey. Anyone in charge of catastrophe planning will tell you that it is. Cleanup is usually more expensive than prevention. Imagine this. You believe that everything is peaceful and quiet up there while you lie beneath the stars. However, space is anything but peaceful when it's dark. It appears like a significant event could be approaching us. And no, it's neither a spaceship or a comet. It's an entire star, another one but not our sun, a lonesome person, a nomad, the kind of person who doesn't follow any regulations. Nobody anticipated it at the time. Unaware of the star zipping by, our ancestors were most likely chasing mammoths or sketching on cave walls. However, the Ott Cloud, a huge shell of frozen remnants from the solar system's inception, might have been disturbed by that pass. You are essentially shaking a snow globe full of dangerous comets if you tamper with the cloud. A few of those frigid bullets might be pushed in the direction of Earth. Not very good. Scientists believe that the really long D-distance comets originate in the Oort cloud. You know, the ones that scream across the sky like cosmic pyrotechnics and only come around once every few million years. Furthermore, those comets may be yanked toward us by a rogue star's gravitational pull if it passes too near. And not just one or two. Consider it more akin to a game of ping pong in space. And the Oort cloud isn't the only one under risk. The Kuiper Belt is another. Beyond Neptune, that cold ring is full of frozen rocks and abandoned space debris. 
That might also be ruined by a wayward star. It might upset Neptune and Uranus, or possibly knock objects out of orbit. If that seems like the beginning of a poor science fiction film, then it is. The saddest part is that star parties like this one happen frequently. It occurs more frequently than you may imagine, though not always with striking outcomes. You might be surprised to learn how frequently stars collide in our galaxy, which resembles a gigantic pinball machine. Sometimes one gets a bit too close, but usually it's not a huge concern. Finding these great loners before they arrive at the door is the challenging part. Their paths are unpredictable. The chaotic gravity dance taking place around the cosmos causes their courses to twist and change. It's like attempting to predict the next run of an inebriated squirrel. In order to determine who might be traveling in this direction, scientists must run complex simulations and monitor surrounding stars. And protecting the planet isn't the only goal. We can learn more about how stars and planets develop and occasionally disintegrate by examining these wayward stars. Like a cosmic U-Haul, some of these nomads may be pulling an entire system of planets behind them. Others may have suffered a traumatic split with their home star system, losing everything. The world is a mess. These stars, in a sense, tell a depressing tale. They have been expelled from their homeland and sent aimlessly into the galaxy. However, they also provide valuable insights on the motion of stars, the nature of gravity, and the vulnerability of our position in space. That's a cause to pay attention, but it's not a reason to freak out. Because if space has taught us anything, it's that the universe may throw a curveball just when you think everything is stable. Or a fireball in this instance. Imagine it. The sky was illuminated by a second sun, not as hospitable as ours, simply driving by and causing chaos. There are comets out there. Planets sway. The visitor who didn't knock broke the silence of the room. It's not like witnessing a car pull into your driveway when you spot a stray star. They don't issue alerts. Without turn signals, headlights, or consideration for anyone in their path, these stars slink across the galaxy. You can think of it as the cosmic equivalent of someone storming into your home at 3 in the morning. However, this person doesn't give a shit about your alarm system and is larger than a billion Earths. Scientists use sophisticated telescopes, extensive sky surveys, and a lot of computation to track one of these intergalactic drifters. They keep an eye on surrounding stars to determine their direction as well as their location. Astronomers can determine whether something is becoming too close to our solar system by charting motions and estimating their future trajectories. The issue is that sometimes it's unclear until the item is well on its way. Additionally, rogue stars don't always follow a straight path. Their path may be twisted like a roller coaster by the gravity of other stars, black holes, and even dark matter. The road is turbulent and subject to sudden changes. That innocuous star on the galaxy's edge is suddenly aiming for the area with just one gravitational push. Then, there is the matter of time. The public may not be informed for years even if astronomers predict the arrival of a rogue star they must first double-check their data. After that, they compose papers, submit them for review, and make the announcement. That star may already be knocking on the Oort cloud's front door by the time it makes the news. We also have to be concerned about more than one star. They number in the thousands, maybe even more. There are many stars in our galaxy that are out of place and float around like cosmic ghosts. Some are tiny dim and hardly more visible than a torch. Others are giants that, if they were to pass close by, could destroy entire solar systems. They're moving about and out there. What if a cosmic pattern we've overlooked for too long poses a greater threat to Earth than a comet, planet, or star? Post your thoughts in the comments section. For more, remember to like and subscribe.